in the world of Naruto, everyone has to train to become a ninja. And I use ninja with quotation marks because they're not really ninjas, bro. What type of ninja wears all bright orange clothing and fights enemies that can drop meteors on top of them, bro? The worst worlds in anime, part three. Okay, straight out the gate is One Punch Man. No, his name isn't One Punch Man, it's actually Saitama. Not like the city, but like, he doesn't care about cities. Nobody in this show does. This whole world they live in is made up of cities, bro. And they do not care what they do. They casually throw out planet-busting attacks like they don't have to live here too. This has to be one of the worst worlds to live in in all of fiction. Like, every week, once a week, you're not even dealing with, like, regular villains. You're dealing with straight Avenger-level threats. There are more extinction-level events in this series than there are rain droplets that come from the sky on a cloudy day, bro. And at the same time, there are less peaceful days than the main character has hair follicles. Shit is crazy. Human life means nothing to anyone in this show at all. These guys aren't even superheroes. They're just super, bro. They don't save anybody, bro. There's more casualties than casualties can be casual. And at the end of the day, the heroes are just like, yo, guys, we just did a great job. Like, bro, no, you suck. You're terrible. It's this bald guy who doesn't care. A cyborg warrior who has hair. A nasty little girl with a mean snare. LGBTQ representation. Strong as a bear. What color is her under- I'd let her use my face as a chair. Not gonna lie, first day in, if I was born into this world, just kill me, bro. I'm not staying here, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna do it myself if you don't do it. You got monsters. Ugly monsters, attractive monsters, heroic monsters, villainous monsters, very attractive monsters. Please don't leave me in a room alone with him. The token black guy. Okay, I'm in editing right now, and I had to go back on this, bro. What the fuck? Who is this? Bro, I looked him up, bro. He's just buff in black, bro. He doesn't even have superpowers, bro. He's just black. Who made this character? One Punch Man is really just a dark, twisted, and evil world, bro. I'd really hate to live there, just as much as I'd hate to live in Naruto. Naruto is just an absolute dog shit universe, where if you don't have special eyes, you're just cooked, meaning you're useless. You might as well compete in the Special Olympics, because that's the only place where you're excelling. In the world of Naruto, everyone has to train to become a ninja. And I use ninja with quotation marks because they're not really ninjas, bro. What type of ninja wears all bright orange clothing and fights enemies that can drop meteors on top of them, bro? Ninjas are literally supposed to be stealthy and assassinate people with uh, a little bit of ninjutsu used in between. Why are we shooting laser beams and doing 10 million shadow clones into space, bro? Why do they even have planetary attacks? Becoming a ninja and going on missions is cool and all until you run into the wrong guy at the wrong time at the wrong place and then it's just GG's. I mean, just look. What type of sword is this? What enemies you going against that requires this level of damage? Okay, can we just stop to admire the weapon that this guy has on his back? What hood are you from? Who are you beefing with that requires you to up this level of... This level of weaponry, bro? That is not a melee weapon, bro. As a long range assault dagger, bro. What, huh? what the fuck makes these shits, bro? Where do you buy these at? He's in the wrong enemy. He has a Bonkai. Hey, man. Nationalism is really a cult like ideology because I can't even fathom the fact that anyone would ever want to live in any village in this universe, especially the Hidden Leaf Village. Literally, every three to five years, the entire village gets blown away. And now, this world shall know pain. Almighty push! This is some Viltrumite saying Kryptonian level damage. Why are ninjas capable of this? 